Hi, I'm Lisa Marie. Welcome to my channel, Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie. Today's video will be part of my one and done series where I just bring you one DIY. Today, my special guest is Donna from Creative by Nature DIYs and Decor. I'll tell you more about that later in the video, but now it's time to craft. If I mention that I bought something at Amazon and it's something that you need too, you will find the link to my Amazon store down in my description box below. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I have been seeing things on Pinterest that are super cute lately. And I saw people were creating fall trees. And I thought, what a perfect idea to create a fall tree. And then it could be transitioned to Christmas so easily. I got a leather leaf garland from Hobby Lobby. It was on 40% off. And then I've got these super cute, I think they're like uh, placemats or just, I don't know what they are, but they're also from Hobby Lobby. And I've got cute little pumpkins and then I've got some leaves that were left over and then I've got a bag of like you know pumpkins and um, gourds and squash and stuff and then a bunch of little pine cones and little mini pumpkins you name it I have so much fall stuff and I thought what better way to use a bunch of it than to create a little fall tree I've never done this before but I am really loving the whole idea so I had to shoot this from a little further back otherwise you couldn't see it and so you can see my kind of messy craft room and you can see me and all my glory with my hair up without makeup this is what I look like when I craft so there you have it and I'm gonna wrap around this garland which is so cute oh my gosh I love this thing you guys I'd never seen this before and when I saw it I had to have it and because it was 40% off of course that was a great price I don't remember but I know it was reasonable otherwise I would not have bought it now I only have one strand of it so I'm just kind of making it work the best I can next I got these little scarecrows from the Dollar Tree it comes two in a pack and I think I have like four packs of them and I just couldn't think of what I was gonna do with them and then I thought you know what I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna stick them in the tree and they'll become part of my decor for the fall tree isn't that cute and the colors are just perfect it's so fall and just adorable so literally I'm just finding places where they'll kind of stick in there securely question have you ever done a fall tree or even a tree that isn't just Christmas like I've heard of people doing Valentine's trees and things like that I've never done anything but Christmas trees are you on social media? Come follow me. I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Same name, Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie. Hope to see you there. Now I've got this orange burlap roll from Dollar Tree and it's a little wide so I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut it right down the middle and then I'm going to wrap that around like garland. Then I have a traditional looking burlap one. I'm going to do the exact same thing and it's just going to look so nice and so fall and just really gives it that nice warm traditional colors of fall feel. As I mentioned earlier today is part of my one and done series and my special guest is Donna from Creative by Nature DIY and Decor. Donna uses nature in her craft. She integrates it in the most gorgeous amazing way you've got to go check out her channel you will love it I will have her channel link and video link down in my description box be sure to tell her I said hi and if you've come over from Donna's channel welcome I'm so happy to meet you and thanks for watching my video now every once in a while you'll see me look straight ahead at the camera and it's mostly because I can see what it looks like from the front then so it's like looking in a mirror kind of at the front of the tree so just in case you were wondering because I keep noticing myself doing that and it makes me laugh also I have one of those really serious faces when I'm constantly concentrating and I just look mad. I promise you I was not mad. I was actually having a really fun time. Now I've got some fall leaves that were just from various picks that I had laying around. So I'm just going to stick them in here and there just for a little bit more fun. This is a great way to use up your scraps and your extras. Now I've got so many fall picks that I picked up between Hobby Lobby and the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use my little snips. I'm just gonna take these off the big stem so I have more of them to put around the tree. And I love this gorgeous, like kind of burnt burgundy-ish orange color. It's stunning. And it's just gonna add so much to this tree with the brighter colors, this tones that down. And it just, you know what it reminds me of when you go look at the leaves change? The only thing I didn't put in here was really purples, but otherwise it's got all of the different colors. And then I've got some of this like kind of straw looking pick from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna put it up at the very top and you won't be able to see it till later, but just when it's sticking out of the top, I thought that made it look really cool. 
and I just wrapped the bendy part around the very top. You know where you'd put a star on the tree? I just wrapped it around that very top stem. And then I've got some of these gorgeous picks from Hobby Lobby that were 40% off. I mean, theirs looked so real. They were gorgeous. Normally they're too expensive for me, but I found them on sale and I had to grab some. Do you love mega videos? Check out the link in my description box for a playlist of just that. Now I'm gonna take some more of these little cattails and different, you know, fall wheat looking picks and I'm just gonna stick them all the way around the tree in different places and it's just looking so fun and festive. Honestly, I can't believe I've never done this before. I'm really happy with it. My husband was thrilled. He loves fall. I could put fall decorations up all year round and he'd be thrilled. He is like in love with this tree, you guys. He just adores it. And now I've got this pine cone with like cotton on it and I thought that's gonna look so cute up at the top. So I'm just gonna stick it in there. So now I'm gonna take some different baskets. This is a little black plastic basket from the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna take those placemats and I'm gonna kind of fold them into the basket. And then I'm gonna stick pumpkins and gourds and pine cones and fun stuff in there that I have. And that's what's gonna sit under the tree. So I'm gonna have three cute little baskets. And then I've got these white pumpkins that I also got from Hobby Lobby on sale. This gold basket, I love. That's from the Dollar Tree also. I'm gonna take another placemat and put it in there and do the same thing. And then I found this adorable orange and white plaid kind of tray thing and I'm gonna put more stuff in that. So here I'm giving you a little bit of a closer look of these. And there's the top of the tree. You see all the stuff sticking out with the pine cones. Isn't that cute? And then you can see the rest of it. I'm so happy with it. Please let me know what you think. And would you do a fall tree now that you've seen this? It was really fun and it's gonna be so easy to take out the decorations and put Christmas right on. Perfect transition. And just to remind you, make sure you check out Donna's channel. You'll love her. And this is one and done. Thank you so much for watching my video. It really means a lot that you take the time out of your day to watch my videos. And be sure to come back so I can see you in the next one. And remember, you are a blessing to me. If you like this video, I know you'll like one of these two videos. So click on them and watch those next.